A lot of my clients ask me, how is it that we can better address strategy formulation? I think that one of the greatest failures in typical corporate strategy formulation is using frameworks that are fundamentally static. Okay, SWOT would be a really good example of this. Strategy really should be dynamic. We should have processes that allow for change and that allow for learning as we're formulating strategy. Um, if you look at the standard uh, static uh, approaches to strategy formulation, they don't take into account, first of all, a business environment that could be changing, okay, particularly the competitive environment, the technology environment. Um, they don't take into account what competitors' moves will be in reaction to the moves that you make. And the other thing that they don't really look at is um, what are the explicit assumptions that you're making upon which you base your strategy. Now, as you deploy your strategy, you're going to be able to validate whether those assumptions are true or not. Um, and after that, you should have some sort of contingent action uh, depending on what it is that you learn as you go. So one of the things that I recommend uh, is that my clients incorporate more dynamic uh, and more learning type processes uh, into their strategy development. Um, some of these might be things like wargaming. Um, others may be uh, uh, frameworks such as assumption-based planning. But I think we need to get away from the concept that strategy formulation is something that we do on a yearly cycle and then set into motion and then look at again uh, the following year. I think it's something that we need to be looking at at an ongoing process. Um, and I also think it's important to mention here, you know, in the military, uh, they have a say. There's no strategy that survives first contact with the enemy. And I think that this is true in business as well. And we could all be doing this a lot better.